This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone or glorify the usage of drugs. In this video, we're going to be going over different medications that treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, also known as ADHD. We're going to cover Adderall, Vivance, and Ritalin, which all provide different ways in improving focus, giving mental clarity, and boosting cognitive function. I'll explain the benefits, the feeling, my own experiences, side effects, duration, and much more. Adderall, Vivans, and Ritalin are all prescription medications given by medical professionals to treat ADHD. These three medications all have more similarities than they do differences. They all increase focus, suppress appetite, induce insomnia, and get you zinging. Similarities aside though, let's get into some of the differences between the three. Personally, I've had a bunch of experiences with these drugs throughout the years, so I'm going to go over what I like and don't like about each substance. When I was in college, I would use these to study all the time. Plus, I take them before all my exams and when writing my essays. The first one in particular I want to talk about is Vivans, also known as Listex Amphetamine. Vivans is one of the longest lasting ADHD medications out there. It'll last at least 8 hours, usually around 10 to 12. I find it to be the most consistent for lasting all day long, and it's a pretty smooth ride from start to finish. I also get the most euphoria with Vivans. In larger amounts, it can yield similar effects to rolling on MDMA. It makes me more excited and very jubilant about whatever I'm doing. It'll definitely put you in a good mood. Switching over to Ritalin or methylphenidate, I find this medication to work more in the background. I don't feel as blatantly stimmed out or wired. It's able to increase my general focus without giving me the feeling of having like an electrical wire wrapped around my skull. It makes me feel like I'm operating on a consistent frequency and I'm able to get into my flow state much more easier. Unlike Vivans, Ritalin offers both immediate release and extended release forms. Immediate release tends to kick in faster and lasts about 4 to 6 hours. On the contrast, extended release lasts for about 10 to 14 hours. This means that the extended release form is meant for consuming in the morning, otherwise you'll be up all night long. Immediate release has a shorter duration, so it can be taken in the evening and still wear off early enough that you'd be able to go to bed at a reasonable time. Moreover, Adderall aka amphetamine also comes in the forms of IR and ER, so both Adderall and Ritalin can be utilized to fit different duration preferences. Personally, I prefer the IRs because if I want it to last longer, I'll just take another pill after the first one wears off. Based off my experience, I find it much easier to get randomly distracted on Adderall than the other two. Distracted in the sense that I end up doing what I want to do rather than what I should do. Like sometimes when I gotta force myself to study, I'll pop an Adderall, only to end up playing video games the whole time and wasting it. For some reason, Adderall makes me more prone to making impulsive decisions. But anyway, a lot of these differences can be subjective, so now I'll go over the similarities that almost all ADHD meds share. The first benefit is obvious, in which they all increase your overall focus. The main goal of these medications is to keep you focused at your task at hand, so they will usually boost cognitive function and give more mental clarity by improving your overall cerebral ability. So basically, the main objective of these smart drugs is to get you zinging. The two most common side effects of these meds are appetite suppression and insomnia. The insomnia exists due to the fact that these drugs are supposed to wake you up and make you more alert. In return, this is probably why you shouldn't take these right before bed unless you want to pull an all-nighter. The appetite depression means that these drugs tend to decrease your feeling of hunger and make it so you don't really feel like eating at all. Back when my doctor prescribed me ADHD meds, he told me to take the pill with a meal, this way that you have at least some food inside you before you start not wanting to eat. Another side effect is an increase in heart rate and body temperature, which can lead to excess sweating or dry mouth. You may also feel jittery or on edge, especially if you drink caffeine with it, whether that be coffee or an energy drink. Essentially, the more stims you're on, the more stimmed out you'll be, which is why keep in mind most ADHD meds are classified as stimulants. This means that they affect and alter the functioning of your serotonin and dopamine receptors. Which is why personally, I don't agree with how easy it is for doctors to prescribe these medications to children. I mean, I don't even like taking this stuff every day, and I'm an adult. I usually give myself breaks because if you consume it every single day, it starts to mess with how your brain operates. If you do decide to take any of these medications, please be wary of the potential side effects that these smart drugs can bring. There are many benefits to be had with these smart drugs, but just remember, what goes up must come down. There's also another drug that doesn't get you stimmed out like these do, and a lot of people call it the limitless pill because they claim it boosts your brain power with little to no side effects. If you want to learn about that, here's a video I made all about it. Peace out.